Hello and welcome to Ministry of JavaScript. In this video, we are going to be looking at number format method, which is a part of international API of JavaScript. So for example, we have a number over here, right? And what we want to do, we want to format a number with something like this. The question is, how can we do that? Well, we can write a bunch of lines of code, you know, custom JavaScript code to achieve this, but there is no need to do that because we do have a have an API of international and we do have a method of number format. So let me show you console.log new intl.number format and then format inside the format let's pass our number as an argument then as you can see that it has can formatted our number right but the thing is for example if we want to format our number with respect to the region for example inside the american region the number formatting would be something like this 299 comma 99 but in the european region the number formatting would be something like this 299 dot 999 so if we want to implement the formatting with respect to the region then how can we do that well that is very simple inside the number format the first parameter is a locale parameter so we can pass our locale as an argument so for example if he if i pass en-us then it has written the format with respect to the american region right or if i want to you know get the, the formatting with respect to the european region then we can implement let's say let's take a locale of a germany de dash d then as you can see that it has returned the result with respect to the european region 299.99 and you can do one more thing with this number format method because it is very advanced if you want to add the currency symbol in you know in the number along with the formatting well you can do that also with using this method the question is how can we do that in the second parameter we do have an option to define the currency so it takes two properties the first one is a style and the second one is currency inside the currency we will pass the value of like euro then as you can see right over here we got our number formatting along with the currency if i want to convert it in with the you know usd then right over here you are looking at a formatted number along with a you know dollar sign so you can do a lot with these number format method so this is it from this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.